Have you ever seen companies sending out tweets with short URLs, kind of like this one here? Well, I'm going to show you how to set that up for your business in this video. And guess what? The setup's completely free. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a Bitly account. And you know what we do here at TechSmart Boss is show small business owners and entrepreneurs how to leverage technology to grow their business. And you know the keys that we look for are one, it's gotta be easy. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set this up. You don't need to go hire someone, you could do it yourself. It's gotta be affordable. So I like to focus on the things you could do for free. So everything we're gonna talk about here, except for getting your domain, is gonna be free. And three, it's gotta make your business look more professional. And that's what we're talking about here. If you're doing things on social media, if you're sharing files, I don't really care what you're sharing. If you're sending a hyperlink out to anyone, it should be with your brand and it should have your your kind of flavor to it so that's what we're going to talk about using bitly to set up a url shortener so you don't have to send these long links to either social media posts or long links to maybe a website page you have you can give a nice branded link that you can track that has your brand on it and looks a little bit more professional so let's go ahead and get started so we're on the bitly website here and what we're going to do is go ahead and sign up a new account Let's go ahead and click sign up. You can sign up with your social accounts. I always prefer and just like to use my own sort of login specifically for their website. That way, if you do get locked out or have any issues with your social accounts, you can still get into these services. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to set up an actual account on uh, Bitly itself. And tell them I'm not a robot. Sometimes I feel like a robot when they ask me these questions. So select all the issues of the storefront. Well, I mean, is this a store? Zoom in, this is a store. This looks like a store. This looks like a store. Let's see if I got them all right. All right, I'm past the robot test today. Let's go ahead and create that account. So what we set up before we even went into Bitly is we purchased a domain that we want to use as our shortener. So, you know, we have other videos. Hover is part of our TechSmart Boss Blueprint. Uh, so I've got other videos that talk about how to set up Hover and use Hover. You'll see I went out and registered a, a domain called SmartBoss.com. There's a couple things you want to do. You want to have your brand in there, but you want the URL to be shorter than your normal domain. So our normal domain for everything is TechSmartBoss.com, which is kind of a long domain. If you're starting to share this out on social media sites like Twitter, you know, Twitter, you're limited to 140 characters. You want to save as many characters as, as possible. So what you want to seek when you get a domain for a URL shortener is you want something that's going to be shorter. That's going to be key. So I like to go with .co um, as, a, as a good one for my shorteners. And, and if you have a name that kind of vibes with like a, a .bi or .to or .ly, you, there's lots of two-digit um, uh, extensions out there. You have to pay a little bit more for them. They're not your normal uh, cost. You gotta pay more in some cases, uh, but it's not all about the shortening. You also want to get something that is affiliated with your brand and kind of recognizable that you can get. So for example, I could have gotten tsb.co if I really wanted to get something really, really short. Um, but that doesn't, TSB, we don't want to kind of go by an acronym or initials. That doesn't connect with our brand. Um, so what I went with is Smart Boss, which was actually available. I couldn't believe it. Uh, .co. So I'm saving five characters. I'm saving the tech and the M at the end of my com here. Not a huge savings, but I'm getting something now that I can use and it kind of supports my brand. So that's what we want to get when you think about this. So I, I got my domain I want to use here. So let's go back to Bitly and start setting this up. Uh, so what I want to do is go ahead and get out of here. Let's just say start using that and go into my settings. And I want to get to the point where I can go into my advanced settings here. And I want to set up my own branded short domain. So I got to verify my email. Thank you for telling me that. So let's pop over to my email. Verify my email. I am who I say I am. Great. And let's go back here. Go back to those advanced settings. branded short domains, and I want to add a branded domain. So now, what we want to do, it kind of tells you, purchase our domain, check, we've got that cover. Set up your DNS, so that's why I got my hover account here. So what I want to do is set up an A record and point my branded domain 
to this particular URL. So let's go ahead and copy this. So I want to set up actually two A records. They don't really explain this as well, but I want to set up two uh, records here. So let's go over here and I'm going to go into my smart boss domain and hover. Go to my DNS. And you'll see by default, hover is going to have uh, A records sort of set up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the ones that they already have set up for me. I'm going to put them to the URL for bit.ly. I'm going to edit this one as well and save that. Now, what's nice here, uh, and I, I don't recommend you, you kind of do this with your primary domain, but you could. You could use um, a seed name. You could put in an extension and things like that, but let's keep this simple. And let's go back here now that I've got my A. What I like about Hover is the DNS is very fast. It says if you're using a subdomain, you could do this with a C name. So if you did want to not purchase a, a new domain, if you already have a pretty short domain, instead of doing the A record setup, which I did on this, I could add a new C name like this, put that in, and use a subdomain. So for example, I could call this uh, you know, links. And that'll be links.smartboss.com, which will be my branded domain. At that point, I'm not going for shortening. I'm going more for brand. So, you know, there's a couple different ways you can kind of set this up. I'm going for, you know, shortening and brand. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to set up my C name. But this is a nice way to do it as well. So let's go back. And we're going to put now what the name of our domain is. So I'm using the smartboss.co, which is what I pointed to this particular uh, address there. So let's verify it. And again, that's what's nice about Hover. Sometimes DNS takes about, you know, 24 hours or so to go out and do that verification. Hover tends to be a very fast uh, DNS server uh, for that. So I believe this is set up. I did not get any uh, messages that say that it did not verify. Let's go take a look. Let's refresh the page. That's always a nice thing to do and take a look at if I have that set up there it is so my default domain is now smartboss.co and it's verified and I can always go in there and sort of fix that up but now I've got a couple options here if I just want to use bitly uh, to kind of create these things they call bit links I can go straight in here and kind of do that I could paste a long URL like um, Let's just put in a tech smart boss itself and create that. And you'll see it'll actually give me a shortened version of that that I could then copy and, and use. So very easy to copy that. If I were to paste this in my browser, it's going to actually redirect me to tech smart boss at that point which I haven't set up a website, but it's going to redirect me at that point. But what's nice as well is I've got that link here that I'm going to start to get click analytics and things like that. I, honestly, I don't use Bitly for that purpose. My main purpose of Bitly is to give me this service and they integrate with all the other social media tools like Buffer and things like that. Now, there's one more very important thing you want to do in your Bitly setup before you get out of here. And let's go back up into our settings and click on our advanced settings again and go into our branded short domains. Now, one the, the reason this is important and you have to come back and do that, and I'm gonna hit edit on our smartboss.co domain, is you know, you'll see some people who will look at that link and they won't click it. And they actually wanna kind of take a look at smartboss.co before they click that link. So what you wanna make sure you do after you've verified that domain is come back into your settings and you'll see this redirect URL so that if anybody goes directly to smartboss.co, you're telling Bitly to send them to your techsmartboss.com full company domain. So that is the key to finishing up your Bitly. Uh, and if you don't do that, then you'll be a little bit incomplete because uh, people might go out d directly to your shortener and not make it to your brand. So that's it. We're all set up. Uh, we can keep it as is now. Just 
so you know if I go back here you'll see there's limits in the free account you can kind of see here that you know we'll have 500 uh, of these that we can make a month that's all you I mean you got to be doing some very heavy social media uh, and sharing to get above that 500 I've never exceeded that 500 if you do Bitly will actually upgrade your account, but one of the reasons I like Bitly is they give you such a large volume. It's great for small businesses, great for that tech smart boss. And there's some other cool things you could do if you do upgrade. So you've got a, a platform here that if you grow in your business, you have something that you can grow with here. Uh, but for our purposes today, we now have this. We can use it right within the interface, or more importantly, we're gonna integrate this into uh, some of our other applications. So check out those videos as well.